1861, it is not uncommon to be you know, conceived, born, schooled, married, work, raise your own family, die and be buried within 50 miles of the same spot. The idea uh, you know, for young 20-something men of going on some grand adventure, which the many recruiting posters tried to play up that aspect of the war, was something that was appealing. This might be your only chance to you know, get away from home and see a little bit more of the world. So adventure would certainly be one reason. Let's get some other ones. Yeah, Zach. Uh, I think a lot of it is just the concept of patriotism. You know, they wanted to fight and save the Union. And okay. Or the, the, or the Confederacy, depending on which side they fought on. Patriotism or ideology. I mean, this is one of the quintessential ideological wars. Uh, you know, for the North, there is initially the desire to restore the Union and put down the, the rebellion. Uh, in the latter years of the war, for many Union soldiers, it also becomes a war of emancipation. For the South, uh, there is a sense of defending their Southern way of life, uh, a Southern society that's built uh, on the foundation of uh, racial chattel slavery. These are wars um, in which you know, there are important patriotic uh, and ideological motivations to get out and join the Army. It's interesting, when I give this lecture, uh, how quickly people bring up patriotism and ideology. Uh, sometimes people leave it way to the last, very end. Those are the cynical classes. You guys are not quite as cynical. You're putting it right at the top, which I like. Okay, so we've got desire for glory. We've got adventure. What are some other reasons? Yeah. Uh, same line as patriotism, but honor. Okay. The South, at least. Especially. Well, south and north. Remember, one of the things that shows up a lot in these posters, if you're looking for to close read the text, you know, able-bodied men, um, able-bodied men, free men, brave men, courageous men needed to come. And this idea of honor, and particularly kind of masculine honor. I mentioned earlier in the class that, uh, particularly in the south, uh, many, many young men went, you know, voluntarily and flooded the recruiting stations in the first weeks of the war. But there were a few that were a little reluctant, maybe didn't, just could, could see a little bit into the future and imagine that military service was not their cup of tea. And it was not unusual for those young men to get a package from a sweetheart in the mail that had you know, a very lacy, frilly ladies uh, undergarment in it. Not you know, as a sexual overture, but to send a very clear message. If you are not going to join the army, you should probably get used to the idea of wearing this around. 